So is lucid dreaming good or bad? There's various different pros and cons. It's not all good and it's not all bad. So I've been a lucid dreamer for almost a decade and I've been teaching people for pretty much the same amount of time, maybe seven to nine years I've been teaching. So is it good or bad? Basically there are many pros and cons. I'm gonna go through each one individually so you can kind of make up your own mind. For those of you who are completely new, lucid dreaming is where you are aware of the fact you're dreaming while you're still dreaming. It means you can control it and basically experience and do anything you want inside your dream. So the first pro is obviously that you can control the dream. So you can kind of decide exactly what you want to do inside the dream. This feels amazing. You can experience anything and it all feels incredibly vivid and incredibly real. So a con is that lucid dreaming can actually feel quite scary, especially if you're new to it or you don't have that much control. You can have what's called a lucid nightmare. Lucid nightmare is where you're kind of lucid you're kind of aware of the fact that you're dreaming, but you're not in control. Now, some would argue that that's not a real lucid dream. In my opinion, it's a bit of a gray area because you might be really lucid in your mind. You might really know that you're in a dream and you try and control it. You, you decide which actions to take, but the dream itself takes control and doesn't let you do those things. And in that sense, it can be like a nightmare because you know it's a dream and you know you're there. You're aware of yourself, but you, you can't actually do anything. You can't control the dream characters and the dream scene. And that can be very scary, especially if you're in a bad mood or you've got like a negative emotional state going on, you can have a pretty bad nightmare. Next pro, in a lucid dream, you can actually practice real life skills, like things that you are good at in waking life and really improve at them by practicing them in a dream. So let's say if you're a tennis player, you can practice your swing inside a lucid dream and then in real life, your tennis swing or whatever it's called, spike will actually improve. This is mainly works with physical things like physical movements or sequences like martial arts, sports, but it can also work with mental things like practicing language strings if you're learning a language or various different things like practicing public speaking, confidence and this kind of stuff. Whatever you practice in the lucid dream, to your brain it's the same thing. It's as if you had actually done that thing. So the more you practice it in the dream, the, the better you'll become at that thing in waking life. So the next con is that if you practice the wrong technique, if you don't really know what you're doing and you kind of do too many wake back to beds, it's a lucid dreaming technique, you will feel pretty tired and it will actually start to influence your sleep and, and you won't sleep well. You'll feel really tired, groggy, like you don't wanna do anything, unmotivated. But you know, this is only if you practice the wrong techniques and if you've watched any of my stuff, then hopefully you're not doing those sleep sacrificing techniques and you're actually doing the ones that improve your sleep. But if you didn't know that, then yeah, you can end up having really bad sleep if you're just practicing the wrong techniques. The next pro is that in a lucid dream, you can live out your fantasies. You can do and experience anything. And I literally mean anything. And it will all feel incredibly vivid and incredibly real to so your mind. Like I said, it's the, the same neurons fire as if you had actually done that thing in real life. So you can imagine like, you know, there's all kinds of opportunities and possibilities for this. You can do anything. It feels real and to your brain it's the same as if you'd actually done it and when you're in the moment doing something in a lucid dream a fantasy going on an adventure whatever it is to your mind and to you you know to your awareness it actually feels more vivid and more intense than in real life so whatever you might be doing in a dream that you've also done in real life the dream version i think you know where i'm going with this is going to feel more intense the next con is that sometimes, this is mainly a problem if you're an advanced lucid dreamer or if you have lots and lots and lots of lucid dreams, like really regularly. You can have this problem called false lucid memories where you've been lucid so often and for so long that you have trouble sometimes distinguishing between a real life memory and a lucid dream memory. This can be avoided by never lucid dreaming about places that exist in your real life but that's very hard to do. That's a lot easier said than done. And it's imp almost impossible, I would say. You, at some point, you, as a lucid dreamer, you will dream about places in your real life, like your house, people you know, job, you know, your school, university, whatever the case is. That's fine. But then if you lucid dream really often, it's going to be difficult to distinguish between what memory is from a lucid dream, like especially with, with mundane stuff. And this is really the, the key here. If you're lucid dreaming about really kind of mundane, normal stuff, like talking, walking down your uni corridor, arriving at work, opening your computer, and you know, things around that, around those sorts of things, it's very hard to distinguish that memory between a real life memory. And so you can end up in a position where you think you've had a conversation with somebody and it's actually been a dream. 
And then later on in real life, you start referring to this previous conversation that never happened. And it's quite hard to avoid that one. So I would say that that is quite a big con. There's ways of, around that to do with dream journaling and anchoring. But if you're a beginner, I guess this doesn't apply to you because you wouldn't be having loads of lucid dreams every night. Another pro is that you can use lucid dreaming not only to practice real life skills, but to actually improve various aspects of your own mind. So you've got to remember you're in a dream, which is kind of like walking around your subconscious mind. So if you have a doubt, an insecurity, a limiting belief, any kind of like trauma, things like that, you can actually directly interact with that part of your mind. You, you can directly talk to that part of your mind. And there's various techniques of doing this, but you can actually heal your problems, let's say. I mean, that's an umbrella term, but you can heal things both physically and mentally inside the lucid dream because you're directly interacting with your own mind. And that's quite powerful if you really understand how to do it. It's kind of like the cheat codes, I guess, to your mind. Overall, I would say it is massively worth it. I've been lucid dreaming, like I said, right, for almost a decade. And it's amazing. Like, it's one of the coolest, most intense, amazing experiences that I have been having in this human life. And I would say it's definitely recommended, you know, even if there are cons, the pros massively outweigh the cons in all areas. I don't know if I've mentioned this recently, but on my site, How to Lucid, I have a free training for you. So there's no catch. You can just go to howtolucid.com slash training, or it might be slash join, I think. And you can find the free training. It's like a PDF. You get the instructions, an email sequence, which kind of like teaches you and gives you guidance through the process and gives you a load of tips, a load of very powerful stuff. So yeah, go and check that out. There's a few surprises and that's it. I'll see you next time. Leave a comment, by the way, letting me know what your biggest pro of lucid dreaming is and your biggest con because I want to know and I will actually read the comments by the way so if you watch this far please leave that comment leave a comment saying pro and then your biggest one and then con your biggest one